Let's say you are given the following compound. Are you asked to look for the or to write the nomenclature of this compound? What is the nomenclature of the compound? Now, the first thing to do is to identify the functional group with the highest priority here. In this compound, the two functional groups present are the OH functional group for the alcohol and then the COOH functional group for the carboxylic acids. Now, of course, the carboxylic acid they have a higher priority as compared to the alcohols. Hence, the carboxylic acid we take the parent name to take the word the parent name. So it is expected that this compound end with what a oig. Now, having ascertained that, it means that the OH is not the substituent because we've already gotten the parent name to contain the carboxylic acid. The OH will become the substituent. And when alcohol group is a substituent, the OH, you call it hydrosy. So, having known our substituent and the functional group that will ha carry the highest priority, now let's start our numbering. Our numbering should be from the substituent that will carry the highest priority. In this case, the carboxylic group. So, carboxylic group will take number one. Then, the longest continuous chain, this will be what? Number two. If you number to this side, it will be the same. If you number to this side, it will be the same. So, if we number this way, it will be two and what? Three. Now, this group here, if I want to break this compound down, I have this OH here. Then, I have this group here is a carbon atom. Are we getting it? Now, bonded to another carbon then bonded towards COOH. Of course, we know that this contains hydrogen or what? Hydrogen. Then this group here is a carbon bonded towards OH. This hydrogen and this hydrogen. This one hydrogen. This is a compound in the skeletal form. So if we say that this is carbon 1, of course, this will be carbon 2 and this will be what? Carbon 3. Now, it means that this is a substituent and this OH also is a substituent. So, we have two substituents. But this substituent here, it also means that from here like this, down to this point is also another substituent. Are we getting it now? So, we are going to name the two substituents. Now, this substituent is called methyl or hydrosymethyl. This group here is called the hydrosymethyl. Why? Because it has the OH of the hydrosy group attached to a methyl. Methyl normally is supposed to be what? CH3. But because this hydrogen here, one of the hydrogen here, if you want to break this down, you have something like this. If you want to break this down, you have CH2, there what? H. This H here has been replaced with what? OH. So you call it hydrosymethyl. Are we getting it now? Hydrosymethyl. So this O group here is called what? Hydrosymethyl. If I may write it out, say this is hydrosymethyl. This is hydrosymethyl. So the name of this compound will be at what position is the hydrosymethyl? It's at position number two. And at what position is the other hydrosy group? It's at position number three. What's the longest continuous chain? It's what? Propanoic acid, which is one, two, three. So first of all, let's take our substituent. Now, when you have a choice between the two substituents, you name the one that is less bulky. Are we hearing this now? The one that is less bulky. This one is more bulky. This is a methyl group. And this is hydrosy group. Are we hearing it now? So this one is less bulky than this. Hence, this one comes first. So this becomes... And the name of this compound will be now first of all we name the substituent that is less bulky which is the hydrosy substituent is at what position is at position number three are we getting it now so this become three hydrosy okay now i haven't named this you have what you now name the bulky one which is two now because it's a bulky substituent you put it in bracket and this become 
hydroxymethyl so you put this hydroxymethyl then you call it the next one propanoic now why do we call it propanoic acid because it contains propane one two three carbon as the longest continuous chain then it has the carboxylic acid functional group when it has the carboxylic acid functional group you call it what the oic propanoic acid we said this group is called the hydroxymethane and this group is called what the hydroxy group so that is how to name this compound first of all identify the functional group with the highest priority in this case we said the functional group with the highest priority is this COOH group automatically it takes the parent name so we start numbering from here we say the longest continuous chain is one two and what three it means that from here like this is what a substituent and also this part like this is another substituent we said that this group here is a methyl or hydroxy methane why because it contains a methane group a methyl group which is ch3 whereby one of the h was replaced with an oh so you have ch2 what oh and this group you call it methyl hydroxy group that's the name or hydroxy methane rather hydroxy methane methyl group hydroxy methyl ch2 oh is called hydroxy methane methyl hydroxy methyl group so this group is called hydroxy methyl group and then we now start naming we say we name the one that is less bulky which is at carbon number three so we call it three hydroxy then two stating the position at what position is it three three hydroxy then two we now name the bulky substituent which is what hydroxy methyl then the longest continuous chain is one two three which is propanoic acid now of course the something seems a little bit enigmatic but that is the solution to the question thank you